What is up, peeps? The time has come. I'm going to be delivering in every single London borough. There are 32 London boroughs. 12 are classed as inner London boroughs and the other 20 are classed as outer London boroughs. Kicking off today's shift, I'm going to be working in Southwark because it is the one that I've lived and worked in the most and it is the borough that I've filmed most of these episodes in. So I want to get it out of the way and then we can focus on the other 31. 20 are on the other side of the River Thames. And fun fact, the city of London is not classed as a borough. Southwark has a population of around 325,000 people and it is ranked in the top five most dangerous boroughs in London. I haven't even started the shift and it's kicking off already. <laughs> oh my God. Even on a Sunday it's kicking off. I got my first all day in on Deliveroo. The time's just gone 6 p.m. This one's paying £3.88. Let's go and pick up this pizza and get straight into the episode. So, 32 episodes covering a different borough in every episode. And it's not going to be filmed all in one month or over a couple of weeks. This is going to be throughout the year. I want to spread it throughout the year and make sure that I get a decent chance of working in a new borough every time. I just wanted to get this one out of the way because it's the one that I've spent the most time in and I've filmed the most content. That is a really nice Porsche. Is that a Taycan? I think it is. So yeah, we'll get this out of the way and then we can move on to the other 11 boroughs on the south side of the river. Hey, there we go. We've got another one coming in as well. £5.88. We'll take that. So it's turned into a double. Hello. You're all right. Uh, 3037. Thank you. Cheers. All right, and the second pickup is not far at all. It's literally just a couple of doors down. Well, not a couple of doors, a couple of streets away. Oh, it's kicking off. They're coming through. I love picking up from this restaurant. The food is always ready. Hopefully, it's the same story today. Not ready. Okay. I'll wait for five minutes. If it's not ready, then I'm gonna get on the way and deliver this pizza because I don't want to wait around and make the customer wait any longer than they should. Fingers crossed, this one's mine. Sorry, that's mine, thank you. All right, I didn't have to wait long. So I'm still gonna keep my, uh, my thoughts on that restaurant very, very high when it comes to getting orders out fast to customers. I posted a TikTok and an Instagram reel the other day of a, uh, a worker in McDonald's and the reaction was very, um, let's say split. A lot of people understood my frustration as a delivery rider being ignored when picking up orders. And I totally get it. A lot of riders um, are rude when they go to pick up orders. I think the majority of us are very respectful when it comes to picking up orders. But the one thing that I don't appreciate is just being ignored completely, especially when the person in the restaurant isn't busy at all. I basically asked for my order that was sitting on the side amongst other 20 orders. And uh, the guy looked at me and just started to walk away. <laughs> it was so funny. It's like, if I stand still, maybe he won't see me. That was the type of uh, vibe that I got from him. But I got the order in the end. But yeah, there was a lot of mixed reactions in the comment section. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. If you're a delivery rider or if you're a customer, do you always find that your McDonald's arrives cold? And if you're a delivery rider, what do you hate most about McDonald's? I very rarely pick up from there now, apart, unless I'm, I very rarely pick up from there now and then. Why can I not speak? I very rarely pick up from there unless it's a morning shift. There we go, I got it out. <laughs> it stresses me out too much. It's just so stressful. I like picking up from little independent restaurants where they're really nice and cheery and happy. Yeah, I feel like there's a little bit more care, but I totally understand it. Working in hospitality, especially fast food restaurants, is stressful, especially these massive chains like McDonald's, Burger King, KFC. So I'm not like having a go on the workers. It's just, you know, communication. That's all it, just a little bit of communication. That's, that's all we need. I just hope we can all get on one day. <laughs> Let's get to this first customer of the night. It's only five minutes away. Alright, 
just arrived at my customer's location. Completely forgot that I was filming <laughs> a YouTube video. Didn't turn the camera on. Thank you. Code, it's 91. 91, thank you. Take care. All right, that is the first one delivered. Very, very fast as well. All right, I took the Chinese out of this bag because I didn't want to start juggling food in the street and risk dropping this item, but that is the reason why I have two thermal bags. All right, let's get that back in there, all nice and zipped up, and get over to the next customer, which is only 0.9 miles away. Yeah, I've taken off the uh, hand mitts on the bike because I've got these heated grips and I think it's more than enough, to be honest. Having the uh, hand muffs, they are, they are nice to have, but they're just not practical. I'm always hitting buttons that I'm not meant to be hitting, like the horn. Sometimes I can't turn off my indicator. It's best just to leave them off and have the heated grips. And it is warming up a little bit now, to be honest. So it's eight degrees. We're not going into the minuses anymore. What is this guy doing, man? Are you reversing in the road, mate? Can't just stop in the road and start reversing. Southwark has the worst drivers as well, people, as you've just seen from there. Just driving down the road, he stops in the middle and then starts reversing. <laughs> yeah, makes total sense. And then bibs at me. Ah, oh, you couldn't make it up. You could not make it up. And this is the reason why I want to get Southwark done and dusted. It just builds my stress levels to uh, extreme heights. Also, the uh, Spotify playlist is now up and live. I think uh, there's over a hundred of you that have saved the drum and bass playlist. And I am updating it daily, moving over all of my music from YouTube music to Spotify was a bit of a task. And some of you gave me some apps to, to use to import and copy over the uh, playlist. But I don't really trust signing up to these apps. I don't want to input all of my personal details, um, like my password mainly on this random app for them to transfer all of my data over to Spotify. So I'm manually doing it. For all of you asking for new drum and bass already, don't worry, <laughs> a lot more is coming. How you doing, all right? There you are, mate. Cheers. Have a good one. Cheers, mate. So the easiest way to know if you're still in the borough is looking up at the street signs. So if you can see up there, London Borough of Southwark. Now, obviously I'm gonna be picking up orders in Southwark and if they're going to other boroughs like Lambeth, Westminster, Battersea, well, I don't know, wherever, Wandsworth, sorry, because that is the borough, that is the council name. Uh, then yeah, I'm still gonna be taking the orders, but as soon as I've dropped it off, I'm gonna head back to the borough that I started in and the borough that I'm gonna be working in for the rest of the video. A new city episode is coming very, very soon as well. Nando's, £4.77, and it's going super, super close. But yeah, what was I saying? A new city episode is coming very soon. I have planned to book somewhere uh, at the end, or not at the end of February, but in the middle of February, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, let's head over to Nando's and get this, uh, this order. Hopefully there's not a lot of drivers waiting. Oh, for God's sake, it's an absolute sh show again. This place is f***ing long, man. <sighs> f*** this. That is a f***ing joke. Terrible. I don't know, if I've been waiting that long anyway, I might as well just stick around, but honestly, I can't, I can't bear it. I'd rather be on the road trying to get another order than just standing there listening to them singing. <laughs> I think I've chose the best uh, borough to get out of the way first. I think Nando's is starting to become like uh, McDonald's. All right, a brand new order is in, paying £7.56. Picking up from Falafel and Shawarma. The drop-off is quite close as well, so I'm surprised that it's paying that much. I got really frustrated with Nando's back there because it's such a high paying order, but with such a super long wait time, it's just, yeah, it's just not convenient, you know? Some hummus, spicy potatoes, pita bread. You're right. I've got uh, two delivery, two seven and seven five. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, the first customer, 0.8 miles away, six minutes. Hi, 
Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Can I get you all? 23. Perfect. Thank you. Take care. All right, then straight on to the next one. 1.9 miles away. How long is it going to take me? 11 minutes. All right, let's get up to the... I was going to say second customer. It is the second customer on this double order. I think it's like my fourth or fifth customer. All right, so how do I get out? Oh, I hate when this happens. What do I do? What do I do? There we go. Now we can go. All right, this one's going up towards Oval now. Just arriving to my customer's location now and I'm actually in the borough of Lambeth so I've entered into a different borough but that's fine I'm gonna get this dropped off and head straight back into Southwark. Hi right, good evening. 95. Thank you. All right so I can't actually accept this one because it is in Lambeth so let me go offline get straight back into Southwark and I'll bring you back when the next order's in. Okay, so I am going to cheat a little bit here. I've got a delivery hop order coming in for $5.83. And the only reason why I'm taking that is because it's going back to the area that I was going to anyway. So I might as well go back £5.83 richer. It, it doesn't make sense for me to go back empty handed. When I get orders that are going back into the borough, I might as well take them, you know. I mean, there's no rules to this. It's just, um, yeah, I want to do a delivery shift in every single London borough. And by the way, peeps, when I first started riding, I used to do exactly what these delivery riders here are doing. Waiting in this, uh, what do they call it? Advanced stop line. And I don't know if anyone knows this, but you can actually get three points and a £150 fine for stopping in that box. Yeah, to any moped riders out there that stop in that box, just a little warning. Uh, you can actually get a fine. I know people that have got fines and points. Normally, the police just give you a, a telling off and try and give you a, a little bit of a educational talk. But if you get the wrong police officer on the wrong day, and especially the traffic police, they will give you points uh, or a fine or both. Seven items. We're so picking up some milk, some bread, waffles. I might as well take that as well. £3.33. Want some burgers. Thank you. I'm going to pick up these burgers quickly. There's no point, <laughs> no point getting on the bike and riding over there. And that's when I leave. Approaching seven minutes now. I don't want my first customer to be waiting any longer. All right, let's get some good tunes on and get over to the next customer. Thank you. All right, that's that one done. Oh, there's another job coming in. £7.95, I'll take that one. But in total, I've earned £23.15 and I've done five orders so far. Time's just gone eight o'clock. So I've been delivering for two hours and I've only done five orders. Not really good, to be honest. Sundays are a little bit quieter than normal. Everyone got their first payday after Christmas from your job. And I always just base it on like my own personal experiences when it comes to like buying takeaway. If it's not near payday, then I'm not gonna order takeaway. <laughs> That's a good t-shirt actually. Talking of merch, I've got some exciting news. So a design has been made. I am very happy with it. And I wanted to keep it simple when it comes to the it's kicking off merch. I didn't want all these crazy graphics and these fancy designs and colors and all of that stuff. So I've gone with the standard black and white to keep it nice and fresh. And um, yeah, keep an eye out for that. I wanted to ask you guys as well. I'll pop up a picture on the screen of what the merch looks like. The thing is, this is my first ever merch launch, official merch launch. And I don't really know how many of you are actually interested in purchasing merch. And it's something that I didn't want to do, to be completely honest. I'm, I might do a pre-order just to gauge how many of you are actually interested 
it will be a one pound pre-order i have got a sample well oh, it's not sample it's the, it's the finished product of the merch um but there's no way i'm taking my jacket off right now to show you it because it is very cold a396 yeah thanks all right this next order is three miles away saying it's going to take me 14 minutes to get there Wow, this place is really nice. I like this uh, kind of setup. Oh, imagine how cool it would be to like have a workshop here. 63, okay. Thank you, take care. Oh yeah, I just wanted to say a huge congratulations to Glenn. So Glenn is the winner of the NQI GT cargo. So the, uh, the new that I had on my website to win to, for £1.49. And um, yeah, he was over the moon. I'll insert a clip here. Just ringing you tonight to let you know you are the winner. Yeah. Are you no. What's I've, got, I've got a little electric motorbike. This game I watch on YouTube. You it's just running, you know. No. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you could hear his missus in the background going, oh my God, I can't believe it. Like she, she was more happy than him. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. £9.75. All right, we are, whoa, this one is massive. 8784 and 4653. Thank you. All right, so this one, there's another rider that is gonna be coming to uh, pick up the rest of the order. First one is uh, three and a half miles away. All right, let's get over to the next customer. Kicking off, mate. Kicking off. All right, just arrived to first customer on this double and fun fact that was my first uh home in Southwark used to live there as a kid so I'm very familiar with this area this is where I was uh running around used to run up and down this hill in the summertime all of these gates didn't used to be here hey right, you're right it's quite heavy you got it thanks thanks can I get your code 84, 84. thank you take care let's get over to the second customer Oh, you're right. Has the rest of it arrived? Uh, two bags have arrived. Two bags, eh? I think that's the third one. Perfect. Thank you. Take care. All right, then, peeps. So the total was just updated. £42.96. And that is done in three hours exactly. It's been a good shift. I've enjoyed it. And uh, that is Southwark done and dusted. But yeah, next up is most likely going to be Lambeth or Westminster or Wandsworth. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching this one, people. If you have, please hit that like button down below. Closing in on 200,000 subscribers, even saying those words is, is crazy. I appreciate you all, and I hope you all have a fantastic week. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, people. And as always, it is kicking off. They're silently kicking off, and these guys are coming in hot. <laughs>